Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm very excited to talk about my work on learning to persuade on the fly, robustness against ignorance. I'm Krishnamurti Ayer from the University of Minnesota. And uh, this is joint work with my student, Yavzu, and uh, co-author Hai Feng Shu from the University of Virginia. So in this work, we look at a repeated persuasion setting between a single long-lived sender and a stream of uh, myopic receivers. So we assume that there is a, a payoff relevant state uh, uh, that is chosen at each time period, denoted here by the set omega, uh, which is like sunny, cloudy, and rainy. And each receiver has to choose an action uh, from a finite set A, uh, denoted here by walk, uh, bike, or take a car ride. And we assume that at each time t, the sender observes a state omega t, uh, so only the sender observes it. And then based on the state realization, the sender makes uh, action recommendations or recommends an action to the receiver. The receiver who does not observe the state uh, then chooses an action, not necessarily the one that is recommended. And at the end, both the sender and the receiver get some payoff that depends on the realized state and the action chosen by the receiver. And uh, we assume that while the receivers are all myopic, the sender cares about the total payoff that is accrued over the entire time horizon. And this is a very general setting that arises uh, often in like, for example, platforms promoting sellers or content on social media to users. Right? So uh, uh, keeping with the persuasion setting, we are going to assume that the sender can commit to a recommendation scheme beforehand. And uh, the sender's goal is to make persuasive recommendations to improve the total payoff. And what do I mean by persuasive? It just means that the action recommendations that are made are in the receiver's interest. In particular, the receiver should find it optimal to choose the recommended action, right? And this is a very broad setting, the one we have right now. Uh, so we can make some assumptions. So common assumptions are that the omega t, the state at, at any time t is drawn iid from some prior. And furthermore, this prior is common knowledge among the senders and the receivers. Right? And this corresponds essentially to the static Bayesian persuasion setting uh, studied in seminal papers like Kamnika, Genskow, Ryle, Segal, and Bergman Morris. Right? However, this uh, common knowledge assumption is very strong. And often in practice, it is the case that the state distribution is usually unknown to the uh, senders and the receivers. And furthermore, the sender has to learn this uh, prior while making the recommendations to the uh, receivers. Right? So uh, the question that we want to ask in this work is how can the sender persuade optimally when the prior is unknown, right? And uh, the challenge here is that without the knowledge of the prior, it's not even clear how to make persuasive recommendations, let alone making optimal persuasive uh, recommendations. To address this question, we uh, look, take a learning theoretic approach uh, in particular, uh, we construct a learning algorithm that makes persuasive recommendations with high probability and achieves optimal regret against the benchmark where both the senders and the receivers uh, know the prior uh, distribution of the state. Right? And again, the main idea here is to persuade uh, robustly uh, to compensate for the ignorance of the prior. Right? So I'll go, go into detail a little bit. Uh, uh, but before I do that, let me briefly talk about uh, the related work, right? And uh, so our work uh, sits in the, uh, fits right in the literature on learning and mechanism design. And there is a lot of work in this, on this topic. I want to mention a few uh, papers that are very closely related. Uh, Castiglione et, et al. Uh, look at a Bayesian persuasion setting uh, between a sender and uh, uh, rece receivers where the sender does not know the receiver's utility. It furthermore, uh, the, it is assumed that the, the receiver's utility or the type of the receiver is chosen adversarially and the, uh, they present uh, an, an algorithm that achieves a good regret uh, in this setting. Also related is the paper by Hahn, Hofer, and Smorodinsky who look at information design problems in online learning setting like the secretary problem or the uh, profit inequality uh, setting. Right. More closely related is the work by Kamara, Hartline, and Johnson, uh, uh, who uh, consider more general settings of a, like a mechanism design problem between a long-lived sender and a long-lived receiver. Uh, so again, uh, because the receiver is a uh, long-lived agent, and because the agent is uh, long-lived, they need to use uh, uh, more sort of uh, uh, reinforcement learning techniques. 
And uh, whereas in our setting, the receiver is myopic. And furthermore, the state is uh, drawn stochastically from some unknown prior. Our work is, uh, as I mentioned, the algorithm that I'm, gonna, I'm going to present it uses robust persuasion. And there is a lot of work in this area that is, that is related. Furthermore, the persuasion problem in the known prior setting can be thought of as a linear program. So our work has relations to the online linear programming uh, problem. Right? So uh, with that, let me uh, talk briefly about uh, our setting. So as I mentioned, the benchmark that we are going to use is the setting where the prior is known to the sender and the receiver. So let me briefly talk about this, uh, this uh, setting. So uh, since this, uh, uh, with this the, so this is a setting where uh, this is a static problem and we assume that there is some payoff relevant state Omega hat that is uh, drawn, uh, that is distributed as a, a prior mu star. And this is known to both the sender and the receiver. And we assume that uh, before the state Omega hat is realized, the sender commits to a signaling mechanism sigma. This basically says that for any state realization Omega, what is the probability with which the sender is going to recommend an action A, right? So once uh, the state is realized, the sender observes the realized state and then makes an action uh, recommendation uh, corresponding uh, according to the signaling mechanism chosen before, right? So now we can ask, what does it mean to be persuasive in this setting? So we can we say that a signaling mechanism sigma is persuasive for the prior mu star if uh, it is optimal for the receiver to follow the recommendation. So having received a recommendation A, the receiver's utility is maximized by choosing action A over any other action A prime. Right? And if you write down this, expand this equation, you get a linear inequality that is linear both in the prior mu star as well as the signaling mechanism sigma. Right? And for any mu star, we can uh, write down uh, 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 the set per mu star, which is the set of all persuasive signaling mechanisms for the prior mu star. Right? And given that this is a linear inequality, we can immediately conclude that this set is a convex polytope. Furthermore, the signaling mechanism where the sender recommends the best action for the receiver at any state is clearly persuasive for any prior. So this is also a non-empty uh, closed poly convex polytope. Right? Finally, we can write down the sender's expected utility, again, as a linear function of the prior as well as the signaling mechanism. And uh, so the optimal mechanism can just be obtained by solving a linear program where you maximize the sender's expected utility subject to the condition that the signaling mechanism is persuasive for the prior mu star, right? And so this is a this is a benchmark that we want to meet and we will denote the uh, opt mu star as the optimal objective value of this uh, linear program, right? So coming back to our uh, unknown prior setting, so and inspired by the known prior setting, we can think of this setting as one where at each time t, the sender commits to a signaling mechanism sigma t based on the entire history until that point. And then once the uh, state omega t is realized, the sender then uh, makes a recommendation according to the uh, chosen the signaling mechanism sigma t, right? And a signaling algorithm in this case is just uh, this sequence of uh, signaling mechanisms that are being uh, committed to at each time t. So in particular, it maps any history at time t to a signaling mechanism at that time, right? And now we can ask the same question, what does it mean for a signaling algorithm to be persuasive, right? So we say a signaling algorithm is a beta persuasive if it is the case that with probability at least one minus beta, the chosen signaling mechanisms at any time t are all persuasive for this unknown prior mu star, right? So note that zero persuasive is the usual definition of persuasive in the known prior setting, right? And uh, finally, we can also define the regret of, of any signaling algorithm with respect to this uh, known prior benchmark where the first term corresponds to the optimal utility the sender would have received if they knew the prior versus the uh, payoff of the algorithm. Right? And so given this, we can now define our goal, which is to find a signaling algorithm that is a small o of one persuasive. So the beta goes to zero as the time horizon increases and has a regret that is sublinear in the uh, time horizon, right? And our main result basically says that indeed there exists a signaling algorithm where under mild regularity conditions, the algorithm is beta persuasive where beta is of the order one over square root T 
and with very high probability gets a regret of the order uh, square root t log t. So in the remaining time period, I want to uh, give the intuition behind the algorithm that we propose. So uh, uh, and, uh, and 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 to give the main ideas. Right? So let me start by going back to the uh, known prior setting and recall that in this setting, the sender's uh, uh, problem is a linear program. Uh, the only challenge here is that this mu star is unknown to the sender, right? And, uh, but note that the sender at any time t can estimate this mu star through the empirical distribution because the sender has been observing the state realization until that time, right? So one natural thing to do here is to, uh, 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 for the sender to solve an estimated LP where the sender tries to find a signaling mechanism that maximizes the expected uh, utility with respect to the empirical distribution uh, and uh, requires the, sig uh, the signaling mechanism to be persuasive under the uh, uh, empirical distribution. However, note that uh, the optimizer of this estimated LP may not be persuasive for the true prior mu star. Right? So, so it's unclear how to uh, do a persuasive recommendation. And here our main idea is to use robustness against this uh, ignorance of the prior. So in particular, we will require that uh, the, uh, uh, the signaling mechanism to not only be persuasive for the empirical distribution, but also be simultaneously persuasive for all priors in some neighborhood of the empirical distribution. Right? So in particular, we will be solving this robust problem where you maximize the empirical, uh, uh, the, the expected utility of the sender with respect to the empirical distribution, sub, subject to the signaling mechanism being persuasive for all priors in a neighborhood around the uh, uh, empirical distribution, right? And given this definition, so let me briefly uh, present our algorithm uh, informally. So informally, the algorithm at each time t chooses a neighborhood around the empirical distribution and then optimizes robustly to get a signaling mechanism at time t. Right? So uh, from this description, it is immediate that uh, the algorithm is uh, uh, persuasive whenever this neighborhood contains the true prior mu star. So we can in fact show that this algorithm is beta persuasive where one minus beta is just the probability that mu star lies in the neighborhood for all times t. Right? Uh, similarly, we can show that the regret of this algorithm can be split into two parts. The first part is essentially the estimation error uh, between the empirical distribution and the unknown prior. And the second part is uh, what, what is known as, what we define as the cost of robust persuasion. Right? So this captures the uh, difference between uh, the sender's payoff when the sender knows the prior to be some mu versus the sender's payoff when the sender is required to be robustly persuasive for all priors in the set, some set B. Right? So uh, we can uh, formally write this down as the difference between the uh, uh, optimal value for the LP at mu versus the optimal value of the robust problem that, that I described uh, before. Right. So coming back here, uh, we can see that the algorithm, the robustness against ignorance algorithm has, uh, uh, has this nice property where the size of this set B cap, uh, denotes the trade-off between these two uh, properties. So the larger the set of, of the neighborhood B, uh, the, the algorithm is more likely to be persuasive, whereas uh, uh, the regret is likely to be larger in that case, right? So one thing to understand to characterize the regret here is to know how does this cost of robust persuasion depend on the size of this neighborhood B, right? So in particular, how does this uh, quantity gap of mu comma B depend on the degree of robustness? That is the size of the neighborhood B. And uh, we see that in general, even a little bit of robustness can be very costly. So in fact, we can construct pathological instances where this quantity, as long as the neighborhood is non-trivial, uh, this gap is uh, positive and independent of the size of the neighborhood. Right? No matter how small the neighborhood it is, your gap would be something uh, positive. Right? So what this suggests is that without any restrictions, uh, the regret can be linear in uh, the time horizon. Right. However, so in particular, we need some restrictions on the persuasion problem to get any meaningful regret guarantee. And in particular, we see that one condition is this notion of regularity, which basically says that for any action A, the set of beliefs for which that action is optimal for the receiver should contain an L1 ball of some positive radius D. Right. 
right? So essentially, this just means that uh, the set of beliefs for which any action is optimal should have a non-empty interior, which is analogous to the uh, uh, Slater conditions in, uh, for duality in convex optimization problems, right? And uh, our main one of our main result is to show that under regularity conditions. Uh, the cost of robust persuasion is uh, bounded and is furthermore, it is linear in the size of the neighborhood. So the degree of robustness, right? So here uh, P naught is a bound on the uh, uh, prior mu. Uh, so uh, the probability of any state under the prior mu, right? So uh, as the way we show this is by an explicit construction of a robustly persuasive mechanism. So we explicitly construct a mechanism that is robustly persuasive for all priors in a neighborhood around uh, any given prior. Okay. So, uh, so with this, we uh, we uh, can now be formally describe the uh, robustness against uh, ignorance algorithm. Basically, at each time t, we choose uh, the set uh, B t to be an L one ball around the empirical distribution of a radius uh, of proportional to one over square root of t. Right? And then we solve this robust optimization problem uh, and uh, we commit to using the signaling mechanism that is, uh, uh, that is an optimizer of that problem. Right? And using the cost of robust persuasion, we show that uh, the robustness against ignorance algorithm is beta persuasive for beta of the order one over, one over square root of t and with high probability at achieves a regret uh, 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 which is of the order uh, square root t log t. We also have characterization on the uh, model parameters. Uh, our algorithm does not need to know this quantity p naught, the uh, lower bound on the state under the prior, but uh, the regret is in terms of uh, that quantity, right? So with that, let me briefly summarize our contribution. So we look at a repeated persuasion setting uh, and we relax one of the strong assumptions of the standard Bayesian persuasion uh, model. In fact, uh, we assume that the prior is uh, not only not common knowledge, but it's also unknown to the senders and the receivers. Uh, we provide a persuasive algorithm, uh, which is uh, which which has regret of the order square root t log t. In fact, we show that this is the optimal regret order by providing a matching lower bound. Furthermore, we show that the optimization problem at each step can be written as a linear program. So it is also computationally efficient, a polynomial size linear program, right? And uh, finally, we characterize by explicit uh, construction, the cost of robust persuasion, where the, uh, in, the, in particular, the robustness against the prior, right? So with that, I'll end, I'll, uh, I'll, and you can uh, see the full paper on uh, archive. Thank you so much.